So that's just part of that. So let's backtrack for a second. So you talk about institutions. How many different institutions uh, do you actually work with? Now, I know you can't give me name specifics and things like that, but just in, in a general uh, terms of speaking, how many different types of institutions are out there that you actually lend to? And these are big institutions, I would assume, like you just talked about. Yeah, so, so we lend to <clears throat> over 350 institutions. These are all uh, onboarded, KYC, ML. And most of these people hold licenses, either with the SEC or the CFTC. And they're, almost all of them are onshore, meaning they're not sitting in the Bahamas or sitting in whatever. They're onshore entities that we work with, right? So we know uh, that they're regulated. We know that, they're, uh, that when they give us a financial statement, that it's real. Uh, and we do our own due diligence. I mean, we, we had uh, several attempts, for example, of people giving us fake information. We called the auditor, an Ernst & Young auditor, and he said, yeah, that's my signature, but I, ne I never audited this company. So we, we, our level of due diligence goes all the way down to verifying the identity of the owners, verifying that they are really the legal owners of these companies, that when they sign an agreement, that means something, and verifying that uh, the information they give us, the financial statements, really represent uh, a true and real uh, status of those companies. So, um, and when you see hacks or when you see money being stolen, most of the time it's because uh, other people just don't take the time or the effort to go and dig deep. Uh, because again, our, our job number one is to return the coins. If we make one mistake, uh, obviously that, that hurts our community. Right. So, okay, that makes sense. And then, so 